And new at four tonight, the Washington PAC that wants to repeal the state's Climate Commitment Act is now claiming the governor's administration issued rebate checks as a way to bribe voters. Crime News' Mark Hanrahan has more on their claims tonight. Mark. Good afternoon, Whitney. This is the latest move in the ongoing back and forth over initiatives on the November ballot. The latest move comes from the PAC Let's Go Washington, the group behind Initiative 2117 that would repeal the state's Climate Commitment Act. They claim that a $200 credit sent to low-income people in the state to help them with their energy bills essentially amounts to an attempt to sway voters before the upcoming election. The group filed that claim with the Public Disclosure Commission against Governor Inslee and the Department of Commerce. All right, some background here. In February, Washington lawmakers voted those rebates would be mailed to qualified residents but would be split into two payments, half in October, the other half in February. The funds for the rebates come from revenue generated by the Climate Commitment Act. So if voters repeal the CCA in November, the second half of those checks would not be issued. Let's Go Washington argues that the timing of that check would sway public opinion in favor of the CCA ahead of the vote to repeal the program. The group claims this email from Cheryl Chan Hardy, the deputy assistant director of the energy division for the department, shows that Hardy outlining the public utilities must send out the checks to voters before they vote on the initiative in November. It reads in part, quote, the fund must be spent by September 15th, meaning that fund must be deposited into eligible customers' accounts on or before September 15th, before the state votes on the initiative. They are calling this proof that the state's timing was intentional and are now calling for a full investigation into the involvement of state employees. In a statement from Let's Go Washington, their founder Brian Hayward says in part, quote, Governor Inslee, his administration and the majority party in Olympia are using money taken from taxpayers to try to influence voters. Let's Go Washington was created to fight back against this arrogance and corruption, unquote. Well, today, the Department of Commerce responding, saying in part, quote, that Hardy, that Commerce staffer, was responding to a direct question from the utility about the funds, writing in part, quote, we do not believe this presents a conflict as the utility, not Cheryl, brought up the election timing and Cheryl was responding to their concern. Her response also aligns with the legislature's proviso creating the program. Well, on the other side of the coin, it's worth pointing out that Let's Go Washington held several events across the state offering deeply discounted gas prices, including here in Spokane. And earlier this week, the PAC was accused of violating Washington's anti-corruption laws by offering cheaper gas and food during promotional events for four initiatives, including 2117. In the studio tonight, I'm Mark Hanrahan for Creme 2 News.